Hey guys, what's going on? Zach here today, and I'm here with another awesome Volts tutorial for you guys. Uh, what you see before you is the aftermath of an antimatter explosive, arguably one of the most difficult bombs to create, albeit one of the most powerful. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make one. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, when it comes to building uh, your particle accelerator, you need uh, the following materials, which are the base things that you're going to need. You're going to need the particle accelerator itself, some electromagnet glass, and some electromagnets. The electromagnets are made as such with bronze ingots and a motor. Motor's made. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'll just go over this at a later time because I wanted to show you guys this. It was actually really, really cool, and uh, I don't think I'll have enough time to go over it, all of it right now. So basically, all you really want to do when building your particle accelerator is you want to build a massive ring, pretty much. Uh, for proof of concept, I'm just going to show you guys right here. I'm making a small ring out of uh, um, electromagnets, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that this one that I'm making right here, it will not work. And um, the reason it won't work is because if you guys um I'm I'm fairly certain not all of you are uh you know fans of science or science whizzes or something like that but um if you've all know that Switzerland of the things that Switzerland bleh, I can't even say it Switzerland uh all the things that Switzerland is famous for is um well their chocolate obviously, and also, one of, probably one of the most significant, um, significant scientific inventions to date, and I am, of course, referring to the Large Hadron Collider. Um, if you're not entirely certain what that is, it's the gigantic rain thing that goes on for several miles. Basically, what it does, it's, um, it basically throws two particles uh, together super, super high speeds and collides them together in the hope to create uh, new particles or um, find some discovery of uh, previously hidden particles, such as the Higgs boson, which, again, I don't think I can cover all in this video because this will have, like, a plethora of things to uh, uh, explain. But here you go. This is our small proof of concept. Um, I guess this would be a small hadron collider. Yeah, this is um, this is just a small ring of electromagnets and electromagnetic glass. Now, what you want to do is, when you have made your ring, you want to come to the end right here that's in line with the gap. Um, break that off, and then put the um, the particle accelerator there. Now, what you want to do is, let me just deposit my materials here. Bloop. You want to get out any um, things to power it. I'm using an energy cube in this case. Some, a any kind of wire, as far as I can tell, but in this case I'm using insulated high voltage wire, and something to actually set it off. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, five on this side, and maybe five on this side. Um, now, one thing to note about the Volts Mod Pack is, oh, well, normally when you're hooking things up electrically, um, there's a red side and a black side. The red side in the Volts Mod Pack is always uh, input, and black is always output. So what you do is you you hook up the um, energy source to your uh, uh, particle accelerator. Now I'm going to put a lever down right here so we can get ready to throw it. Okay, now, uh, let's see, has it built it up? Yeah, I think it has. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to deposit all your materials again. Now get out any form of just random crap you have lying around. A lot of people recommend using dirt because it's so cheap, and it does still count as matter. If you've learned anything in math, or bleh, not math class, if you've learned anything in science class, everything is matter. So what you want to do is put your dirt up here in the top slot, and any empty cells that you have lying around. An empty cell is made uh, with four tin ingots like that. 
and it creates eight empty cells. Now you want to drop those off into here. Now throw the lever. Oh, don't double click it. Stop it. There we go. Now, see right here, it's created a particle. This is the particle that is going to be used to create antimatter. Now, remember I said that this will not create any antimatter. And the reason for that is because the way that the Large Hadron Collider works is that, see right here, the velocity, what it does is it picks up speed as it goes down, but those sharp corners causes the speed to go down, meaning it will never reach 100% and it will never generate any antimatter. But because we are in um, creative mode, that's not always the case. Let me just flip, the, uh, flip this right here. Now, the great thing about being in creative is because that this special block, the Instant Builder, which for some reason used to be called the Instant Large, well, the Instant LHC Builder, has no crafting recipe and it's only available in creative mode. And it's an Instant Builder for the actual thing. So I'm just gonna sit it down right here, right click it and look around us. Whoa. Where's the other? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> For a sec there, I thought it broke. Yep, this is the full-size Large Hadron Collider, and this is what's going to be used to make our, um, um, our antimatter. So, um, stay tuned for the last part. Okay, guys, once you have everything hooked up to your Large Hadron Collider, um, and you flip everything like it was doing in our test um, ring, you'll see the particle start to form again, except this time it's not slowing down. Um, as it turns these corners, yes, it is going to slow. Oh, what's this? So, oh. whoa. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways, like I was saying, that thing is, it's not slowing down. And once I get back over here to the actual particle accelerator block, uh, right click on it, you'll see, you'll see that the velocity is ever increasing and it's not slowing down. Now this has consumed some dirt in the process of attempting to make particles and attempting to make uh, antimatter, but it um, did not succeed. And you will occasionally go through several stacks in the process to make uh, antimatter. Um, probably the next video on volts I'll show you guys how to make is how to make the next tiered level of explosive, and it is by far the most difficult one to make in the game, but it is so terrifying when, whoa, when uh, playing with your friends, and it's called Red Matter. If you've seen any videos on it, you know exactly what I'm referring to, but uh, it's not impossible to make. If anything, it's just simply a modification of the of the Hadron Collider. Now, uh, let's take a look at our velocity. We've almost reached 100%. Um, now, if, it, if everything is running correctly, um, when it hits 100%, it will then count as one piece of matter, and then will then destroy one uh, block of dirt. Now, when we had it hooked up to our small ring over there, there were many, many different attempts, and it just simply could not sustain the velocity, and therefore kept destroying it in vain. Oh, see, we hit 100%, and here we have 200 milligrams of antimatter. Now, some of you are probably yawning in the audience, but what you don't realize is, if you have 200 milligrams of antimatter, you can put five of them together. Oh, I don't want that one. Sorry. <laughs> you put five of them together, and it'll create one gram of antimatter. And with that one gram of antimatter, you can, if you have enough of it, um, where'd it go? Ah, right here. If you have enough pieces, enough grams of antimatter, eight in total, and surround a nuclear explosive with it, which, again, I will cover in a future video, you can create the antimatter explosive, which is what we're going to use to create the red matter explosive in the next video. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you uh, guys enjoyed the video. Um, remember to like, rate, and subscribe for more awesome stuff, because me and... Uh, a friend of mine, I'll put his uh, channel link in the description. We are coming up with some awesome new stuff as we are both getting very, very comfortable in front of the um, microphone. And um, stay tuned for some more awesome stuff. As always, my name is Zach, and I will see you guys later.